Okay, first things first. I'm sorry if the viewing of this video isn't as good as it could be in some other reviews. I do not have that good of a camera. A simple digital camera, so. With that set aside, let's get on to this. This is going to be a quick demonstration of the new Rockbox Beta BIOS for the iPod Nano 2nd Generation. I had it on my old Sansa E250 for quite a while. It allowed me to do many things that it could not normally do, like adjusting EQ settings, adding new plugins and games, and allowing me to record straight from the radio. Along with that, you do not have to use iTunes anymore. Rockbox uses a file drop system just like a flash drive. You simply plug it in and drop the files onto it as if it was a flash drive. Then when you are in the Rockbox BIOS, you can simply use the file browser to browse for your media. It has a database feature which allows it to scan through your media and add artists and songs for easier access. Without further ado, let's get this started. But one thing's first. If you have the hold switch on when you turn it on, it will boot into the normal iPod Nano BIOS. Just press play, menu, or any other button to get it started once it is turned off. Alright, I know that is really hard to see, and I apologize for that. The top one says files, second one says database. Resume playback, settings, playlists, plugins, and system. Files is a simple file browser that you can view files as if it was just on the computer as a flash drive. You simply create folders such as pictures, music, or videos and drag your media into those folders and then view them on the iPod Nano second generation. With the new Rockbox BIOS, it adds the feature to be able to watch videos that you encode onto your second generation iPod Nano which was not previously able to be done until the third generation iPod Nano. It works quite well and it does never really have any lag. Since this is a beta release though, there are some quite annoying sound flickering issues, but if you can get around those, it works quite well. Here's a demonstration. There are never any frame rate issues. If you encode the video to the iPod Nano's screen resolution, it should work fine. On Rockbox's website, they have a link to an encoder that already has the presets for Rockbox's iPod Nano second generation screen, which makes encoding very easy. Let me show you a sample of the audio now. I know you probably can't hear the flickering issues, but they are there. Just for the video feature would be a great addition to your iPod, seeing as how it did not previously have that on the BIOS. Now, they have added a fleet of new games for it, which you would be surprised on how this thing runs them quite well with its tiny processor and minute RAM. There is a very large list of games that include Snake, Doom, uh, Bejeweled, 
and a whole bunch of other ones that I'm not really going to get into. They've got, for instance, Asteroids. You know, classic arcade game. Doesn't work that well on it, but it does. Have it. Snake and Snake 2, which are very fun and easy to use when you are bored or on the bus or anything like that, really. These games are can get quite addictive, really. Pong, you can get Pac-Man, Minesweeper, 